Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make just a beautiful fault line Swiss meringue buttercream cake with a cake topper made out of candy melts. If you guys wanna learn how to make this, well, keep on watching.
how I made this beautiful cake. By the way, if you guys want the recipe for the Swiss meringue buttercream, it will be in my description box down below. So basically what you need to do is do, just do a crumb coat, pop it in the freezer, and then do your first uh, color shade, obviously um, quite thick, and then you do your second uh, whatever shade that you want at the bottom doesn't have to be equal the more uneven it is the more beautiful the cake will be and then I finished up the look with beautiful sugar uh, pearls and some edible foil sheet make sure that the edible foil or the metallic foil is edible there's a lot of products out there but they're not edible so make sure that you have the stamp that it really says that it is edible so for the cake topper many of you were asking me an alternative for the isomat cake topper that i do and were asking me to show you how to do it with candy melts so here it is um, very simple to use. Basically what you need to do is simply have parchment paper, melt your candy melts 30 seconds at a time, place your candy melts on top of your parchment paper, and then just place it in a mold, pop it in the fridge or the freezer so that the chocolate sets, and then you just unmold and then you have your beautiful piece that you can fill in with whatever you want. I filled it in with uh, chocolate spheres, but you can use whatever you want. You can just leave it the way it is or put fruits inside. So yeah. Um, also to color your candy melts, you have to be very careful. Um, you cannot just put like just food coloring. It's gonna seize your chocolate and your chocolate will not be good anymore. So what you need to do, because as you can see, I did use gel food coloring. You can do that only if you put a little bit of vegetable oil at first. So like that, you change the quantities. It doesn't change, but like it helps the chocolate. And then you add your uh, gel food coloring. And so like that, it won't seize your chocolate. That's a little trick that I have. Or you can use food coloring specifically made for chocolate. But if you cannot have that and they're quite expensive, you can use the gel food coloring, but you have to add the vegetable oil at first or else I'm telling you, if you do not use the vegetable oil at first, you're gonna seize your chocolate and your chocolate will not be good anymore to work with. So that is basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.